Andy the Kenworth guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. So today we are going to be taking a look at a truck that uh, I've already featured uh, but it's now sold and a few accessories were uh, installed on the truck so uh, just wanted to showcase a few of those things. We'll do a really quick tour on this unit but uh, it's a W900 white 244 wheelbase so let's check it out. All right, so here we are at the truck. This is a 2019 Kenworth W900L. It is a 244 inch wheelbase. Uh, we ordered the truck. This is a stock unit that we brought in. It's got the 62 inch aero cab flat top. So it's kind of that uh, long and flat look. It's kind of classic, gotta love it. A few things that we've done to the truck after uh, uh, the customer preference, is essentially what we've done here is we put on the stainless steel uh, bug deflector, as you can see up there. It's a nice touch, a little extra chrome accents on there. Uh, we ordered it from the factory with the stainless uh, Texas style bumper. The extra chrome panels right in here, the polished battery box and DPF box with the full package of polished on the def tank, the fuel tank, the, uh, the seven inch fuel tank straps as well. And then we have the, uh, the gerb right rims all the way around, front and back. So uh, that's what we put on there. Now, something else that we've done, not really a, a pretty change, but uh, we changed the fifth wheel risers on this. Uh, so it came from the factory with nine inch risers. We had to drop it down uh, to accommodate the customer's uh, application that they're going into and uh, keep it nice and low to the ground. And uh, just some figuring, figuring things out. Uh, the truck has 24 and a half inch rims, which raises things up a bit. And their requirement was to have uh, the truck a little lower to the ground. So uh, we made the accommodation there, which was a fairly inexpensive uh, fix. We put on the minimizer quarter fenders on here. And uh, other than that, uh, we kept it pretty well stock. So not a lot of modifications to it. The truck has the Super 40 rear ends with the 391 gear ratio and the Kenworth AG460 suspension. So that is the eight bag air ride suspension as you can see here. So we also installed a, fact, a uh, dealer installed uh, heater. So it's got the uh, exhaust port right down here. So that is, uh, that is done there. Dual exhausts with the seven inch uh, tall tailpipes and the 15 inch air breathers with the air intake chrome covers on it. So uh, the truck is ordered with a Cummins X15, 565 horsepower, 1850 torque. Uh, I'm not gonna bother opening the hood as we've done the tour. If you do want to uh, check out the, uh, the video where I do the full tour on this truck, just click the link up in the top right corner of your, uh, of your screen there. I'll put a link to it right there. And uh, underneath the hood, we put the standard options like the support brackets for the hood, the remote loop terminal, and the uh, remote boosting terminal. So that's all in there. Truck was ordered with a split windshield, which you can get either a two-piece or a one-piece single windshield. And the uh, stainless visor up top with LED lights as well. Take a quick look inside, and it's locked. Thankfully, I brought the keys. Some would say I'm very smart. Here is the keys. It doesn't make that sound. All right, open up the door here and take a look. So, we'll get rid of that. So we got the Kenworth Air Cushion Premium Plus leather seat. So the Premium Plus gives you the additional uh, lumbar supports right here. And you get the little storage pocket right in there. And uh, we also order it with the extra storage pocket down there. And these are heated. So you can see right there, there's a little heat button there. Uh, carpet through the cab, the bunk. So we just have the protective uh, newspaper to keep it clean until the customer takes delivery. Uh, as far as the dash layout, what we have is uh, 
We have the uh, power windows, power mirrors, power door locks, heated mirrors, that's standard. And then uh, we've got the leather wrapped steering wheel with the smart wheel in there. So it's got the Jake and the cruise control right in there. Uh, truck has the full gauge package with the navigation. So there's no spare holes or locations in the dash whatsoever. Has an 18 speed manual transmission right here. And uh, there's your climate control control climate controls right down there as far as the bunk with a 62 inch uh, you can get it with a single bed uh, there is not an option for an upper bed with this I don't believe I'll double check and I'll put a note in uh, on the screen here if it if it has an option for an upper upper bed uh, you cannot get a fridge in this but you can get a switch for a customer installed cooler or an aftermarket installed fridge and the switch for it is right there so as you can see there there's a switch for the refrigerator and then down below here you would get a uh, location for for the fridge to go there power outlets etc but we have open shelves and the diamond vit interior which is black my favorite it's just a classic look on the inside and uh, here's our installation for the s-bar uh, bunk heater and i don't believe we did one in the on the engine but uh but anyhow that's uh oh yeah we did do one on the engine we put the control unit right up there so lots to remember and uh this truck is being picked up here in about uh 15 minutes so i quickly wanted to do a a video on this truck so uh yeah all right so it's a little bit quicker video a little bit uh straight to the point just a quick walk around so uh thanks for taking time to watch this video and and show what our shop is able to do uh installing some extra things and making a truck work for a customer so uh thanks for uh checking out this video and subscribing to the channel if you haven't done that already please click that button down on the bottom to subscribe and make sure you click off that notification bell uh, just because you subscribe doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to get my videos coming up in your feed so hit that notification bell so that when the video does come out you get notified and you can uh, check it out. So give the video a thumbs up, <laughs> like it. If you like it, uh, check out my other website. You can go up to the kenworthguy.com right here and see what uh, what we're doing on other platforms as well. So if you are interested in a stock unit, uh, new, used, give me a call. I have all my contact information below. So thanks for coming by the channel. And as always, have the world's best day.